Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. Last October 25, Capture One 16.3 was released with another set of useful features. And while this update is excellent, as software becomes more bloated with more and more choices, it becomes harder for novices to figure out which are the best tools to use for any particular edit. So in this video, I thought I would do my part to help reduce the confusion by summarizing the best features of Capture One specifically for portrait editing. So let's get right into it. The first feature is Snap to Eye. In this digital age, we're overshooting a ton of photos to never miss a shot is the norm. A new problem has arisen how to find out which of the hundreds or thousands of your images are actually sharp. Manual inspection sounds very painful. Thankfully, in the latest 16.3 release, Capture One helps ease the pain using a new tool called Snap to Eye. Snap to Eye uses AI face detection to present you a blown up image of just the eye as you browse a photo automatically. No more zooming and panning just to check for eye sharpness. You can also change parameters like the amount of zoom and whether the tool will zoom in onto the center of the eye or the center of the face. In either case, it's an amazing time saver. The second feature for portraits is true to life skin tones. To get quality portrait edits, getting great skin color out of your raw editor is an essential. Fortunately, if you're a Capture One user, Capture One says they've calibrated the colors from a camera by hand, ensuring they say that when a photo is imported into Capture One, the colors and details look as authentic as possible. After seeing the results, it's hard to disagree. But that's not all. If the skin tones don't look right, Capture One has a specific skin tone panel that allows you to make the skin tone look the way you want it to through hue saturation and brightness sliders. The third feature is AI masking. With the latest 16.3 release, Capture One now supports AI object masking, only the second company next to Lightroom to have this ability. As you can see here, it is now easier than ever to do local masking, whether it is to sharpen the eyes, reduce the saturation of clothes, or brighten the face. Capture One's new AI masking is easy, fast, and accurate. The fourth feature is smart adjustments. When editing portraits, it is a common requirement to want to achieve consistency across a range of images. But what do you do if you have hundreds of photos? Do you manually edit each? Seems like a gargantuan task. Thankfully, Capture One has an easier solution, and that is through AI-powered smart adjustments. Smart adjustments can intelligently apply exposure and white balance corrections from a single reference image to any photo containing faces. To use it, first, edit a photo's white balance and exposure. Second, set that photo as the reference image. Third, select the desired target images. And finally, click Apply. Voila, all the target photos now have the same look as the reference photo. Capture One uses AI to analyze phases in the reference photo to help it figure out how to make just the right adjustments. As you can see, it works. You can also use smart adjustments with styles, which allows you to apply even more types of adjustments across multiple photos. So there you have it, four best features of Capture One for portrait editing. 
do let me know what editor you use for your own portrait editing and why you like it or not like it. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.